One Democrat. Let's bring in Senator Mark Begich. He's a Democrat of Alaska and a member of the Commerce and Budget Committee. So, Senator, uh, you heard uh, Senator Schumer there. Uh, we're all paying more at the pump. Uh, why should these companies get any sort of tax breaks at all? Well, I think when we look at the larger picture here on the issues of tax breaks, is uh, you know myself, Senator Wyden, Senator Coates, a bipartisan bill on tax reform. We looked at the whole picture, but let me. Be more specific. If you look at all the energy subsidies and tax incentives we give of federal government to companies all around the globe here or around the country, 13% of them, that's all, go to the oil and gas companies, but yet they produce 60% of the energy for this country. And if you look at the remaining 87% of these benefits we give out to the non oil and gas companies, they only produce 40% of the energy. I think there's a lot of uh, talk on this issue, and the reality is if we're serious about oil and gas issues, if we're serious about lowering the prices, as everyone has said, getting rid of these incentives do not lower the price. Well, what will lower the price is more domestic production of oil and gas, a diversified energy base. That's what we need to be focused on. Senator, uh, some would say, though, you're from a state that certainly has a lot of oil resources that has a lot of oil companies dealing with the state. It's, it's a big uh, earner for your state as far as tax revenue goes. You just mentioned some of the tax breaks for other forms of energy. Are you for keeping those tax breaks for alternative forms of energy as you are keeping the tax breaks for some of these oil companies? What, what I've suggested, again, is I, I will look at all these issues in a holistic way, but I will not be signaling out one after another because if we really are true, if the issue here is lowering gas prices, because that's what I'm hearing, then what we should do is focus on the issue of an energy policy which has not been established in this country for decades. It's one of the things I campaigned on when I came in the office two and a half years ago. This place here has been unable to bring forward an energy policy. Our energy policy for this that? country... Uh, why is that? Because well, we talked about the policy for decades, to, you know, as you mentioned. But what can be done in the immediate right now uh, that changes uh, our policy and prices? they can change our price at the pump? Well, I've, I've suggested a couple of things. We've introduced the FAST Act, which will allow people to put money aside in a tax-free account, just like a medical savings account, to buy fuel, buy gas uh, for your vehicle. That will save you, if you, on an average, a taxpayer pays about 20% in income taxes, it will save you immediately at the pump at $4 a gallon, 80 cents a gallon, right now. But instead, we have these great debates on the floor, and we end up with no policy. Our policy right now in this country Let is call up to, Saudi quick, Arabia and get them to turn the dial. I only have 30 seconds here, but sure. would that, that, that tax structure you mentioned for consumers apply to all consumers of every income level? Yes. Mm -hmm. Anyone who, who puts... Yeah, and that will be an immediate savings of about 20% on the pump price. And to me, that's immediate. There's long-term things we need to do. But that's something we can do right now. We'd love now to talk to you more about that, Senator. We appreciate okay, you coming you on with us. And uh, it's something Thank we're you. going to be following very closely. So important to our viewers. Thank you very much, Senator. And we'll be right back Thank with you. more happening now.